a tech visionary introducing Steve Jobs. Steve Jobs was more than just a technology entrepreneur. He was a visionary, a pioneer who saw the future before anyone else did. He revolutionized the way we interact with technology, making it intuitive and accessible to the masses. His work transformed personal computing from a niche hobby into a mainstream necessity. His relentless pursuit of innovation, fueled by a unique blend of Eastern spirituality and Western design principles, led to the creation of iconic products like the Macintosh, which changed the landscape of personal computing forever. iPod, which revolutionized the music industry, and iPhone, which redefined the concept of a mobile phone and set the standard for smartphones. Jobs' life story is a testament to the power of passion, perseverance, and the courage to think differently. He faced numerous challenges and setbacks, but always emerged stronger and more determined. Jobs' impact extends far beyond the realm of technology. He influenced the way we think about design, user experience, and the integration of technology into our daily lives. He showed us the importance of design, the beauty of simplicity, and the need to focus on the user experience above all else, and the power of connecting with our intuition. His approach to life and work was deeply influenced by his spiritual journey, which added a unique dimension to his leadership and creativity. His story continues to inspire entrepreneurs, artists and innovators to push the boundaries of what is possible, and dreamers around the world to challenge conventions and pursue their passions with unwavering dedication. Steve Jobs' legacy is a reminder that with vision, creativity and determination, we can change the world. The early days, from garage to Apple's birth. This is the story of how a small idea, nurtured in a humble garage, grew into one of the most influential companies in the world. Steve Jobs' journey began in the heart of Silicon Valley, a place that would become synonymous with innovation and technology. Adopted at birth, he grew up surrounded by the burgeoning tech culture of the 1960s. This environment played a crucial role in shaping his future ambitions and interests. His fascination with electronics blossomed early on, nurtured by a supportive neighbor who taught him the basics of engineering. This mentorship ignited a passion that would drive him for the rest of his life. As a teenager, Jobs met Steve Wozniak, a brilliant computer engineer, at a local electronics club. Their shared enthusiasm for technology and innovation quickly bonded them. In 1976, Jobs and Wozniak, along with Ronald Wayne, founded Apple Computer Company in Jobs' family garage. This modest beginning was the first step towards creating a tech giant. Their first product, the Apple One, a hand-built computer kit, targeted hobbyists and electronics enthusiasts. It was a simple yet revolutionary device that laid the foundation for future innovations. The Apple II, launched in 1977, became a massive success, propelling the company into the forefront of the personal computer revolution. This marked the beginning of Apple's journey to becoming a household name, changing the way people interacted with technology forever. Seeking Wisdom Jobs' journey to India In the late 1970s, at the height of Apple's early success, Jobs embarked on a life-changing journey to India. Seeking spiritual enlightenment and a deeper understanding of himself, he travelled across the country, immersing himself in the teachings of Eastern philosophy and meditation. He visited ashrams, met with spiritual gurus, and spent months in deep contemplation. Jobs was particularly fascinated by the teachings of the Indian guru Neem Karoli Baba, also known as Maharajji, whose work had inspired many Western seekers. This experience had a profound impact on Jobs, shaping his worldview and influencing his approach to design and leadership. He returned from India with a deep appreciation for simplicity, minimalism, and the importance of intuition, principles that would become central to Apple's design philosophy. Eastern Echoes, India's influence on Apple. The vibrant culture, spirituality and philosophy of India have left a lasting imprint on one of the world's most iconic tech companies. Jobs' spiritual journey to India left an indelible mark on Apple's products and corporate culture. During his time in India, 
he immersed himself in the local traditions, seeking enlightenment and a deeper understanding of life. His fascination with Jain Buddhism, with its emphasis on simplicity and mindfulness, manifested in the clean lines, intuitive interfaces and user-friendliness of Apple devices. This minimalist approach became a cornerstone of Apple's design philosophy. He believed that technology should be both functional and aesthetically pleasing, a philosophy evident in the sleek design of the Macintosh and the iconic iPod. These products were not just tools but works of art that resonated with users on a deeper level. Jobs' leadership style, often described as demanding and visionary, also reflected his experiences in India. His time there taught him the importance of focus, discipline and the relentless pursuit of excellence. He instilled in his team a relentless pursuit of perfection, a focus on intuition and creativity and a deep-seated belief in the power of technology to change the world. This ethos continues to drive Apple forward, making it a leader in innovation and design. Revolutionary products shaping the technological landscape under Jobs' leadership, Apple released a string of groundbreaking products that revolutionized the tech industry. The Macintosh, launched in 1984 with its iconic 1984 Super Bowl ad, introduced the world to the graphical user interface and the mouse, making computers more accessible to the masses. The iMac, launched in 1998, revived the company's fortunes with its colorful all-in-one design. The iPod, introduced in 2001, revolutionized the way we listen to music, becoming a cultural phenomenon. And the iPhone, unveiled in 2007, ushered in the era of smartphones, transforming the mobile phone into a powerful pocket-sized computer. Navigating setbacks, ousted yet determined. Jobs' journey was not without its challenges. In 1985, following internal conflicts and disappointing sales of the Macintosh, he was forced out of Apple, the company he co-founded. Undeterred, Jobs went on to found Next, a computer company that developed advanced workstations for the education and business markets. While Next computers failed to achieve mainstream success, its innovative operating system would later form the basis for Mac OS X, Apple's modern desktop operating system. During this period, Jobs also acquired Pixar, a struggling computer graphics company, which he transformed into a world-renowned animation studio. In 1997, in a dramatic turn of events, Apple, then struggling to stay afloat, acquired Next, and Jobs returned to the company he co-founded, initially as an advisor and then as CEO. His return marked the beginning of Apple's spectacular resurgence. Jobs streamlined the product line, refocused on innovation and rebuilt the Apple brand, transforming it into one of the most valuable companies in the world. Jobs' second stint at Apple was marked by a series of iconic product launches, including the iMac, the iPod, the iPhone and the iPad, each of which redefined its respective category and solidified Apple's reputation for innovation, design and user experience. Jobs' design philosophy was deeply rooted in his belief in the power of simplicity and intuition. He famously said, Simplicity is the ultimate sophistication. He believed that technology should be intuitive and easy to use, even for people who were not tech-savvy. This philosophy was evident in the clean lines, minimalist aesthetics and user-friendly interfaces of Apple products. Jobs' obsession with design often to the frustration of his engineers, stemmed from his belief that a product's form should follow its function and that technology should be both beautiful and intuitive. Steve Jobs passed away in 2011 at the age of 56 after a long battle with pancreatic cancer. His death was mourned by millions around the world who admired his vision, his creativity and his relentless pursuit of excellence. Jobs left behind a legacy of innovation that continues to shape the tech industry and our daily lives. His products have become ubiquitous, transforming the way we communicate, consume information and interact with the world around us. But more importantly, Jobs' story serves as an inspiration to dream big, to challenge conventions and to strive for excellence in all that we do. 
Steve Jobs' life, from his early days in Silicon Valley to his transformative journey to India and his triumphant return to Apple, offers valuable lessons for entrepreneurs, leaders and anyone seeking to make a difference in the world. His story teaches us the importance of following our passions, trusting our intuition and embracing the power of simplicity. Jobs' legacy is not just about the products he created, but also about the values he embodied, creativity, innovation, and a relentless pursuit of excellence. He showed us that it's possible to change the world by thinking differently, by challenging the status quo, and by never settling for anything less than the best.